Hi, A.M. here, and I'm going to do the last video for today be part five of the evolution of the Roman army. First to second, zero to 199 A.D. So around this time, where we left off, Rome just transitioned from being a republic into an empire, now during the reign of their first emperor Augustus, and now at the height of their power, and now control all of most if not all the Mediterranean. But beyond, slightly beyond it, there were still more lands to conquer. But during this time, though, in 9 AD, in what is now northwestern Germany, in the Tudorburg Forest, Three Roman legions were led, and to the fours, being led by Quintilius Varus and and a commander of the Roman, the Germanic auxiliary troops, Arminius. But secretly, there was an ant. Bush. And then, only when then, Germanic tribesmen then attack the Roman army, and they were unable to use their formations, and would be cut, go down as being known as the Varian Disaster. Resulting in three of them, all three Roman legions being destroyed, and only 400 men, the legions, escaping. And, and soon they retreated behind the Rhine, and Varus's head was taken back to Rome to the Emperor Augustus. And when it was shown to Augustus, he did not take the news well, for he soon shouted, Quintilius Varus, give me back my legions. For clearly, Arminius and his fellow tribesmen, for he was a prince of the Cheruski tribe nearby the Tudorburg Forest. And for they have been chief, the unthinkable, by, since they were now, well, now the height of their power, but yet, they suffered one of the worst defeats in their history ever since Kenai. And only being taught by that in Karai. Karai. Before. And in a. And for they never. For it never expanded on that large of a scale ever again. But there were still more provinces for them to be 
for them to cook. So, like say in the A's being in Judea, and on the other side of the empire, Britain. And so, in 33 AD, Jesus, being the year Jesus was supposedly crucified, and then a decade later, they invade Britain again, for it had not been set Went on by the Romans ever since Caesar, but this time they succeeded. And so, during this time, they were now wearing segmented armor and the Imperial Gallic helmets, and some of them wearing coolest helmets, and mostly had rectangular shaped scooters. And for the Emperor's bodyguards being the Praetorian Gaul. But yeah. And, and only when then in 60 AD the I a tribe them suit the Iceni and was now East Anglia soon stepped up and revolted under the warrior queen Boudicca and managed to successfully destroy three Roman cities in Britain but in the end was eventually put down by the army led by Paulinus And then shortly afterwards, a new governor was appointed, and then they soon set their sights northward on the island, being what is now Caledonia, being what is now Scotland, but were called back onto the mainland to fight what is now Romania in the Dacian War. and happened during the reign of Emperor Domitian. And so, and around this time, they had done, the Imperial Italic Helmet was introduced, basically being the Imperial Gallic, but has bars on the top of the helmet to protect against the blows of such weapons like the Falks that the Dacians had, and they also wore segmented armor on the arms to protect against the slashes, because without it, they can't use their sword. And, of course, they eventually won. So, yeah, this... And... Then... Trajan becomes emperor. And... So, yeah, around... And starting the age of the good emperor. So, yeah. They were still as powerful as ever.
up until the Ray of Morkies. really is when he died and then his son Commodus became emperor. And furthermore ending Rome's golden age. And as in the next episode, it will soon eventually Tear itself apart. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. But from now on, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to watch more content on this channel every day. But from now on, thanks for watching.